Okay, so this is question 8 of 11.1. Um, this gets a little tricky because of um, the data that they give you is not numbers, and there's a lot of them. And so I am going to show you the quickest way I know to sort through this data um, in StatCrunch, and it's kind of long, but it's, it's better than counting it by hand. So we're going to open up that data, and what we're going to do is we're looking, we got to separate the male responses from the females and then figure out what they said. So if you click right here, you can do sort table, you can do ascending or descending, it doesn't really matter. Um, I did descending because we're going to do males first, and M comes later in the alphabet, and so that's just talking about alphabet. Alpha alphabetizing. And so I'm going to scroll down until I get to females. And I'm going to take this, highlight all the females, and I'm going to cut. So cut is control, or I think on apples it's command, X. So I'm going to do that, and then go back up to the top. So I have all of the female data, and I'm going to do Control V to paste it all there. So I just took that data and moved it to this column. And so I'm going to change this name so that I don't get confused. So now I'm going to click on graph and I'm going to do bar plot with data, and we're only going to look at males for right now. And so we're going to highlight the two male ones, and then we're going to click values above the bar. And I'm going to click compute. And so, let's see, here we have it. So the total male is 105. And the yeses are 27. And so we're looking at people who said yes, that they um, would be willing to pay higher taxes if the tax revenue went directly towards the deficit reduction. Um, so that's our successes, I guess you could say. And so I would have that written down. As a matter of fact, I'm going to write it down right now. So males, oh, I don't want that color. Males is 27 yeses for me out of our big number of 105. OK, now we're going to figure out our females. So we're going to go to graph, once again, bar plot with data. And we're going to highlight our females and click values above bar and click compute. And so our females, I'm going to write down, um, we have 36 yeses out of 95 females total. OK. So now what we're going to do is we have to find a proportion. And a proportion is a fraction. It's a decimal, right? And so we're going to do solve these. So for males, we have 27 said yes out of 105. And so I'm going to put this decimal in my proportion spot. That is my proportion of males who said that yes, they wouldn't, they would be willing to pay higher taxes if, if this happened. And then we're going to do the same thing for the females. Um, 36 said yes out of 95 females. So we're going to put that proportion in this box. Okay. And so now it's asking us about the requirements and verifying them. And so in order to use these in StatCrunch, they have to be 
independent of each other, not dependent. Um, that means that if I ask a female and she says yes, it has no um, effect on what a male says because they, they don't know what they said. So they're independent. They don't have any effect on each other. Um, this equation on both of them, both the male and the female proportions and numbers have to be greater than 10. And we can verify that um, by doing So for the males, our n is 105, and we times that by the proportion that we put um, up here. Where is it? Gosh, it's so complicated with all these spaces. Okay, our proportion is point, so we times that by point 0.2571. And then we times that by 1 minus, gosh, sorry, that didn't work out as planned. Starting over from scratch. So male is 105, so we're going to put that in there for our n times our proportion, which is 0 0.2571. And then we're going to times that by 1 minus our proportion. And that's greater than 10. Now we'll double check with the females. And the females, our n is 95. We're going to times that by the proportion that corresponds with females. And that is also greater than 10. So that requirement is good. Um, the sample size is not more. We need it to be less than 5%. And um, because our numbers are big enough, they're greater than 30, we don't have to have a normally distributed population. So that's all good. Okay. Now, um, we're going to identify the null and alternative hypothesis. So our null is always equal to, so it's saying that it be male and females have the same opinion on this question, that their proportions are the same. An alternative, um, we're looking to see, it says, is there a difference in how males and females feel about paying taxes? And so if there's a difference, then that means that it we're not asking if, if it doesn't say specifically if males um, are more likely to say yes or females are more likely to say yes. It just says that there's a difference. And so we just use the not equal to sign. Okay, now we're going to run a test statistic. Um, once again, this data is super weird because it doesn't give it to us in numbers and StatCrunch doesn't like that. And so this is where it gets kind of tricky. Um, if it hasn't already gotten tricky. And so we don't even need this data anymore. So I'm just going to use a clean stat crunch that doesn't have the data in it at all. And we're talking about proportions. And so we're going to go into stats and proportion stats, and we have two samples. And I know you want to click with data because it gives you the data, but don't click that because it doesn't give us the data that we can use because it's not in number form. So we have to click with summary. And we're going to input this number that we wrote down. So sample one is talking about males. So far, it's always talked about males. Make sure not to mix up which one the sample one and sample two. So we have 27 out of 105. And for females, which is sample two, we have 36 out of 95. Um, and these are the numbers, remember, that we got from doing the, the bar graph, from having that sort our data. And then we're going to make it look like this, which it already does. 
um, keep these at zero because um, if P1 equals P2, then it's going to equal to zero. For instance, like if our proportion is like 0.2 for P1 and P2 equals 0.2, then when you minus P1 minus P2, it's going to equal zero because 0.2 minus 0.2 equals zero, right? So that's why it's it's kind of in a weird way. It doesn't match, but that's what that means. And um, if P1 and P2 are not the same, it doesn't matter which one's greater than, um, just like what we said here, it's not going to equal zero because it only equals zero if they're equal. So we click compute. And the test statistic is the same thing as TSTAT. So we'll put that in right there. And then the p-value, we'll have to move this over a little bit. Um, it's right there. OK. And so now this part is helping us interpret what the p-value means. And so what it means is if um, the p-value is, is like the probability of making a type 1 error, if you remember that. And so that is um, how often we say to reject uh, the null and we're wrong. And so basically what we're saying is if it's equal, one would ex expect a, a sample difference proportion um, to be greater than the absolute value of, and it is six times out of a hundred. Um, how we got that six times out of a hundred is, is we take that P value and we put it out of a hundred. So we do 0 0.6 or 0 0.064 times a hundred, and that gives us 6.4 and we round that to six. So that's why we did six out of a hundred and yes. Okay. So now we got to figure out if we're going to reject or accept. And so, whoops. Oops. And so we're going to put our p value is 0 0.064. And our um, level of significance right there is 0. Point, oops, 0 0.01. And this one is greater than. And if this, if the p value is greater than the level of significance, then you do not reject. The null. And so do not reject the null. Um, and if you're if you're saying do not reject the null, it's because there is not sufficient evidence um, that they're different. Okay, hopefully this helps. Let me know if you have any questions. This one is probably the hardest one, definitely in this section, and maybe the hardest question of um, all of chapter 10 and 11. So um, 